Uh, there have been some re there's been some reporting that uh, the uh, the popular mobilization fronts, which are the ones you're talking about, that are principally Iranian uh, trained and in some cases uh, equipped, uh, are not going to be allowed into the city. But then again, the kind of bombardment that you were talking about in the setup piece um, uh, is problematic because, of course, uh, and this has been a, re a recurring problem in Fallujah when American forces encircled it in 2004 uh, and sort of. Began began a uh, began a uh, uh, starvation uh, uh, strategy and I'm afraid we may be headed in that direction which of course uh, to use the parlance of uh, the Vietnam War will lose the hearts and minds of the locals this is a very very tricky problem and another Vietnam uh, uh, era saying too is uh, in order to save the city we might have to destroy it that's another <laughs> uh, <clears throat> big issue you know what what happens when Isis is forced out is key too especially given the sectarian nature of things as they've been in the past and this is where a lot of the trouble began uh, for Luja as well in the sectarian sense it's going to be key who governs the place and even more important perhaps what sort of support they have from the Shia led central government well, that's right, and this is where I think that uh, none of us, not the uh, Iraqis, not the Americans, not the international community, none of us is paying enough attention to what comes after, what's the day after, what in short is this fight for, uh, what is the political order that on, on day two. Uh, the, this too little uh, attention has been paid to that vital issue, and in the absence of making that clear, we're complicating the fight against ISIL. And, uh, of course, this is all overshadowed uh, as well as, as has been for some time by the precarious nature uh, of the, uh, the, the central government itself too, the infighting, the self-interest, the growing public anger at the failure of the government to provide even basic services. How does that complicate all of this in the battlefield? At precisely the moment that the uh, federal government, the government in Baghdad, is attempting to assert or reassert control over, and it's had some success, let's be clear about that. <clears throat> Excuse me, it's, uh, uh, it took uh, Rutba uh, in, in western Iraq back uh, from ISIL uh, just this past week. So it's had some successes. Um, but just at the moment when it is attempting to reassert its authority throughout the country in the parts of the country where it lost that authority to ISIL, it is in fact in total and complete deadlock in Baghdad, a complete political impasse, uh, and neither the Prime Minister nor Parliament nor many of the bloc seem to be able to form a, sort of a common political vision. And again, it's without that common vision, without giving people a notion of what the fight is for. Everyone knows we're against ISIL. But what are we fighting for? In the absence of that vision, um, I think we hamper, we tie one hand behind our back in the fight against ISIL.